Hey, g'day, welcome to Nugly, and check this out. This is my 1965 Volkswagen Explorer. It's an Aussie kit car built in the 1980s by a guy called Bob Pullen in Sydney. And I bought this from John Fenn's used cars and tweed heads after the main roads department saw it and put a sticker on the windscreen with about 14 reasons it shouldn't be registered. John rang me and asked me if I was still interested in it and made him an offer. And it took 18 months to get it registrated. He did look a lot better back in the day. Gullwing doors. Yeah, no, they came with it, but oh, there is no such thing as a good gullwing door. They look cool. Whoa. -ho. Yeah, yeah. Looks cool. Not the kind of thing you want to live with, though. Painful, painful. So the roof section goes as well. They need that. This is a hole I had to cut to send a piece of fiberglass off to a university for testing to make sure it came up to the marine standard of fiberglass. Mm hmm, look. 1985 Sports Car World magazine. Mm hmm, ooh, Kit Car Australia. Explorer discovered. Yep. Mine was one of three that came up from Sydney into Queensland to try and find a home. And as far as I know, mine's the only one ever got registered because it only took me 18 months and that much paperwork to do it. Beautiful car to right drive. It's like a cross between Triumph Tower 7 and a Mini Moke. I enjoyed it, and it was a fun car, but I wouldn't drive it on the road in traffic, despite the fact that theoretically I can re-register this as a historic vehicle. Yeah, no, I developed a deep and abiding love of crumple zones a while back, so now I have to make a decision somewhere on the scale between Resto Mod and Viking Funeral. So what I've decided is here, babe, look, I bought you a new tarp. <laughs> yeah, got to give her a bath, tarp her up over there under a tree and yeah, she's retired now. Gorgeous though, always has been and always will be my crap car. <laughs> 